All right, this video is for anybody who has a DDJ SX and is having problems. Um, I know that right now not many people um, have encountered this issue or whatever, but if you plan to use this with the Virtual DJ or any other software other than what it was designed for, which was uh, Serato uh, DJ, you need to do this procedure. So anyway, in short, there's an update that you have to do right now. Currently, the update is to bring it from firmware version uh, 1.0 which is what it comes out uh, with in the box uh, the current latest version is 1.02 there was a 1.01 .01 version but anyway that's obsolete or whatever so the reason why I'm posting this video is because uh, it's extremely difficult to find any information on how to do this so just uh, you know for those who are Google searchers and whatever uh, or even YouTube searchers, maybe hopefully you can find this video of use and benefit and that's about it So anyway in short power buttons in the back, but before we even press that there's uh, something that you have to do. Find your shift and sync button on the left deck or left platter And I'm gonna put down the camera real quick to do this. So what I'm gonna do is push this and this at the same time as it powers up what we should see is this pulsing or jumping and uh, let me see if I can do it this way Hold on one second. Bear with me. as you can see that's jumping and uh, I was holding that and I did the power button if you see that blinking then you can release it and as soon as you see that then you can come and uh, run the software I downloaded the I can't get this to focus DDJ SX version 1.02 uh, whatever version it's up to you'll basically do the same thing so if it's up to 3 million you do the same thing it's going to be a jar file this is something that you have to run on Mac and or PC it doesn't matter which version you have once you double click on it you'll see that the jar file is right there now it's giving me update <coughs> the version of your DDJ SX firmware version it gives you the current version which is 1000 uh, and then the update version is 102 hit start <coughs> before you hit start keep in mind that your power must be stable do not disconnect it unplug it or anything like that the unit uh, another thing I forgot to mention is you have to have power and you have to have your USB hooked up and that's about it so we'll hit start and then it'll start of course it'll say please wait a few moments until update process is complete and it'll run the process it'll do a countdown if you don't do this this way what you'll do is you'll get an error message which is very frustrating and basically it says that uh, the controller is not found etc and whatever what have you and like I said, there's no information uh, scoured the web. I've uh, looked through the uh, Pioneer manuals and things like that and whatever, and I couldn't find any information easily available for anything. Uh, you know, it just says, hey, put it in this mode and execute it. And when you do that, you keep running into this error over and over and over and over and over. So finding the fix was important to me enough to... Uh, be able to share it. Uh, I literally wasted a lot of time. I even took this unit back to where it was purchased. They were going to give me another unit. Oddly enough, they told me that they had the same issue. So now, hopefully, like I said, this this video will benefit you guys as well. <coughs> we're at uh, 46, 47%, 48. It's going pretty quick. So once that's done. And then we'll go into a couple other things that uh, you're able to do. All right. Later.